Today in connection with the woman who was murdered and dumped in the woods in a suitcase. Detectives have taken her ex-boyfriend now into custody. Pix 11's Christian Benavidez live in New Rochelle tonight where there was a wake today for the victim. Christian. Yeah, Tamsin, that arrest happening at the same time that family members and loved ones have gathered at this funeral home here in New Rochelle. This also at the same time that that 24-year-old ex-boyfriend of the victim is in, in a federal court facing charges in relation to her murder. Muy, muy cariñosa, amorosa. You can hear the pain in their voice as family members and loved ones said goodbye to Valerie Reyes at this new Rochelle funeral home. Uh, Valerie was a, a person like always, you know, smiling, always say hi, very big loss for the whole community. Her wake on the same day that police arrested an ex-boyfriend, Javier Da Silva, a 24-year-old Venezuelan national who lived in Queens. Justice is going to be served and he's going to get what he deserves. It's a peace of mind for the whole entire family. So, you know, it's a good gift today that, you know, he's in custody. So just leave it to God and the justice system. Officials arrested Da Silva at his Flushing apartment. They say he used his ex-girlfriend's debit card, and that's how they were able to track him down. At a vigil in honor of Reyes's memory last week, her heartbroken mother, Norma Sanchez, sent the killer a message. He's gonna pay for it. He's gonna pay for it. Sooner or later, he will get caught. I know it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Authorities say she was killed after going missing from her New Rochelle home, found a week later on the side of a Connecticut road, stuffed in a suitcase and bound at her hands and feet. I feel like everyone's relieved now, now that there's someone out there that confessed to what he did. And just a few minutes ago, we spoke to Valerie's mother. She reacts to this arrest. Let's take a listen. I would say to him that I can't wait. A lot of us can't wait to see him in the eye. He needs to see us, look at us in the eye. And I really, I have a lot to say to him and I just rather wait. I, I'm just trying not to feel hate because I've been feeling a lot of hate for the hands that did this to my daughter. And we know that Da Silva has admitted to detectives that he was present when Valerie died. We're live in New Rochelle tonight. I'm Cristian Benavides, PIX11 News. Yeah, you hear the, the pain that family's feeling. Cristian, thank you so much.